Hi Kat, I just wanted to make a little video about this new application RefMe um, and I just want to make a little, I'm just going to get rid of that, um, a little video explaining how it works. So um, you would search RefMe on Google, uh, click into RefMe, and it's going to come up with my particular page, but you need to actually sign up for it. It's free, doesn't cost anything, it's completely free. Um, so I'll just log out and show you what that looks like really quickly. So it looks like this. Uh, sign up with your email or with Facebook. Um, I'm just going to log back in. It's really easy, you just got to put your name, your email address and come up with a password. Um, Now, I'm going to be real quick with this, I'm sorry, but uh, I've only got 10 minutes worth of recording time before this app will shut me off, so um, the recording app I mean. So let's explain the layout here. You've got your projects over here, uh, you've got your you, where you can share it with other people if you're doing a group assignment, you've got your type of referencing, so you click here, type in your referencing, whether it's APA or IEEE, and it will have all the different types of referencing. We're going to stick with, with Harvard because that's what nursing is using. Over here you've got where you create your references, so book, book, chapter, film, movie, and there's a whole list of them here if you just click more. But these are the main ones. And the students are using web pages mainly. Um, down here, you've got view inline citations, which is in text citations, which is really important. They're these little things here, the little gray things at the bottom. And that's what the students need to put in the text of their assignment um, when they're creating or paraphrasing. So you can take that away, but I usually leave it on because as you're writing your assignment and you use um, a reference material, you punch it into RefMe and then it'll come up with the in-text citation and then you punch that into your assignment, right? Makes sense. And then everything falls into order. Down here you've got obviously delete project and export project, which I'll show you at the end. You've got um, hints, which are these little bubbles here, which will tell you about the interface and what you can do with it. Uh, the blog, which is forums for people to get help, institutes that RefMe is working with or that use RefMe. Educators, there's some information there for people who want to start using this in their classrooms to get students to do referencing better. Uh, a little bit of information about the people who developed this and then frequently ask questions and support. Um, so let's create a reference, right? So first of all, you make your project. So I'm going to delete this one here actually and start from scratch. Um, law assignment nursing. We add our, our project. We come here and we want to start adding a reference. So let's say you start looking up your material. You come here to the APRA website. This is the website that you want to like you go in through publications and you go FAQ and fact sheet and this is the page that you want to reference. You highlight the URL and copy it. Come back to RefMe um, and you want to go to web page, paste your web page and then it will come up with the information, all the information that it can find. Now sometimes RefMe won't be able to find the author. So in this case, it's an organization and it's the Australian Health Practitioner Regulation Agency. So we can just copy and paste that there. And the date published, if we look over here, we come back to the website. The date published is down here in the bottom right hand side for a website most of the time. Um, or it's here if it's a document. So they've got the document dates here. So we want to put this date in, 14th of the 8th, 2015. So 2015, eight month, 14th day. So that's the date that the website was last updated, last published. 
Now we've got all our information in there. We click save. Now, RefMe sometimes will find that information for you, sometimes it won't. Um, I'd say to students, this will save you heaps of time. So spend a little bit of extra time making sure all the information here is 100% perfect. Now, you go back and you create a whole list of references, you know, you, like so that it ends up looking something like this. So you've got maybe six, seven references, All right? So once you've, um, and that's the other thing, you can have multiple projects going at once. So once you've created your list of six or seven references, you click export and that gives you all these options. So you can export it, just copy and paste the list. You can export it to Word, which is what I recommend students do. So you export it to Word and what it will do is download this into a Word document. So you click on that, open up the Word document and here's your list. So some, the first thing is to change this to reference list or you can leave it as bibliography. It just depends on what the teacher wants. Do they want it called a bibliography or a reference list um, or just references? These are just semantics that each individual teacher decides on how they want things referenced. So if they want it in a particular font, you just highlight the whole thing, change it to the font you want, copy, paste it to your assignment, reference list is done and is 100% correct. And using these inline citations, you should be able to get the in-text referencing idea done 100% correct as well. It's a really easy to use referencing tool. I'm going to do another little video on the phone. Um, do a little screencast from the phone because this application is on phones and tablets as well. Uh, and the great thing about that is when you want to use textbooks, um, it has a barcode scanner and you just scan the code and it'll make the reference. But I'll show you that in another video. And it updates everything. Like so if I make something here and then log into the same account on the phone, it will update across platforms. So um, that's RefMe. Uh, Get students to check it out and use it. Get teachers to do the same thing. Uh, if you've got any questions, feel free to come in and see me or give me a call or shoot me an email. Um, the business faculty is using this. I'm trying to push more and more people to use this because it's incredible uh, and makes things so much easier. Faranusha is quoted as saying, I wish this was around when I did my PhD with 560 references. So if Faranoush thinks it's good enough for her faculty, it is good enough for a lot of faculties um, because it is a really powerful program and sh they are already finding there that students are referencing more correctly or uh, more correctly or they are referencing correctly and it's really helping them to get their assignments done quickly and turn one of the most painful parts of, ref of an assignment into one of the easiest parts of an assignment. Um, so feel free to email me, ask questions, test it and try it out for yourself. Um, yeah, that's it from me. Uh, I'll do a little screencast from the phone as well so you can see how it works on the phone. Um, and let me know if you've got any problems. Bye.